Today's shoot is gonna be a little bit different. We are heading to the beach. I know, right? I live in San Diego and all my videos are almost never beach related. We're doing a portrait shoot with Osi. You guys have seen her before. And we're gonna try a few different accessories with the GoPro. So today is a shoot and a test of sorts. Uh, so let's just make our way. I gotta put on some sunscreen and then we're gonna jump in and see how cold it is. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you enjoyed that portrait vlog. I enjoyed that portrait vlog. It was actually the first time that we got to use photos from the GoPro, the drone, and the Sony camera, which is pretty freaking cool. Now, the whole point of this video, apart from the vlog, is to talk about the GoPro dome, and is it worth it? The short answer is kind of yes, but you're not gonna use it that often, unless you literally live near the beach. The main goal of this is to get video and photos where the dome allows it so that when the water hits, it's separated and you get these really cool kind of half outside, half underwater looking photos. That's why I got this. However, few things that, you know, as you play around with it, you come to learn. 
Number one, a lot of really great photos, my respect, because I used, I used to think these were a lot easier. You have to have really clear water and really like smooth water. The portrait vlog videos that you saw, the waves were rough, they were constant. It was really difficult to time the, the water down the middle. I had a lot more trouble than I thought with it. And with the waves like that, the water was not clear. So I wasn't able to really get anything that interesting underwater. It's kind of like you need certain things to be happening for, for you to really get some nice photos out of this. Now the other thing too is that, I mean apart from the fact that I got some water in there while I was cleaning this thing, I'd probably sell something but once you start using it, you'll start to get water spots on the outside and you find those in your camera. So you have to either remember to wipe them off or I'm sure they sell something like the rain -X so that the water drops kind of go down. Uh, but that is something that I did not expect and did happen and I was a little bit disappointed with that in some of the photos. So that kind of answers this. Is it worth it? I think so but it's up to you if you really want to spend the money on something that you probably won't use very often and when you can use there may be a chance that the photos may not look that good. I think if you're going to like tropical areas this must be really really cool. The last photography tip I'll leave you guys with is when you're shooting at the beach unless you're shooting landscapes right the, the river or the ocean coming into the sand normally you lower the shutter speed to get that really nice kind of soft look to the water. In this case if you're in the water and you're trying to get some portraits you have to set your shutter speed higher. What that is depends on how much light, whether it's clouds, all this stuff, right? You want to set your shutter speed higher because there's too many things that can be out of focus. So normally it's fine. You would have certain things, maybe somebody running, their face is in focus and the hand or the foot might be out of focus. Not a big deal. But when you're at the beach and hands are out of focus, some hair is out of focus, some water droplets out of focus, the water needs out of focus, it's like when it's too blurry, it doesn't look good. So you have to play around with the settings, get the shutter speed fast enough where a lot of things may be in focus and there may be some of the waves crashing or something and they're out of focus. If you're really looking to kind of up your photography game in that sense. Remember, when you're in the water like I was, you're not standing still, right? The water's moving you. You've got to plan for some of that as you're moving around. So crank up that shutter speed a little bit. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned and I'll see you next week.